Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Will for the next geek and today we're doing a video review of Vox VOX. And now this application is a music source application to put all of your iTunes music into one place. Now this application is very simple and very modern looking as you can see here. Now the top portion here you do have the actual track name and also you actually have the uh, single or so say the album uh, and also down here you have the codec and also the actual bit rate with the time duration you can change that like so by clicking on it and here you have the album artwork now you can get us rid of this um, completely by clicking that arrow or so say cross uh, to basically allow you to make it a little bit more less distracting but to get back to it you come down to the bottom and you click like so now of course you do have the actual play controls as you see you have the play and pause skip and also the volume so you can see here I can choose my uh, external speakers if I want to and also have the actual volume controller here you can see and I can go into settings like so so I can actually customize this uh, to my liking if I click on this menu bit here, you can see it comes out of a drop down menu which allows me to see my playlist in iTunes. Now do bear in mind I don't really listen to iTunes anymore as I have Spotify. Uh, now this doesn't allow you to import any music from Spotify which is a shame. Um, but I'd like to see that in the next update, hopefully if they do do that, that'd be another thumbs up. Um, but this is basically allowing you to see what's in your playlist right now. Uh, and if I play it like so, it will come up like this. And it will let me see the actual artwork as I said before. Um, and of course I actually have the um, ability to add current playlist, replace playlist and also new empty playlist. Um, and I'm not really too sure what that one does there. Uh, and this one here basically downloads it to my desktop. I'm not really too sure why I would do that. Um, you have the repeats and also the shuffle like so. And if I want to search a song I can basically go here and start searching for whatever music I have on my library. Again guys, this is a really simple application, there's not really much, too much to it. But when you come to the settings, there are a whole plethora of options like behaviors, menu bar, dock, analytics, sorry, analytics I believe that is, and the notifications, artwork, and so on and so forth. Now, as you can see here, I do have the actual sources, audio controls, last FM, and labs. Um, not really too sure about much of this, but I don't really play around with it too much because I like to keep it in its um, general state or where it came when it first got opened. Um, but then you can see here I do have the ability to change this around and you can see here I can untick iTunes and it wouldn't allow me to see what's in my playlist. Um, also you have the online radio which is basically unlock online radio at a fixed price. Still haven't found a way to get that but I hopefully we'll see that very soon. Uh, but again guys, this is just a review of Vox and I find this application to be very interesting um, quite useful, well, not really too useful but you know it's useful for what it can do and again this is free on the actual Mac App Store if you want to see more information make sure to check the links down below I hope you enjoy guys, my name is Will for the next geek and I'll see you all in my next video